All right, let's get this assignment called Your Face Figured Out. So down in the Your Face folder or link, this will link you to all the photos we've taken in class. Here's the directions. Let's go to the directions first. Uh, the directions are going to have you kind of look at some items, some tools, and edit with those. Not much here, so we'll listen carefully. It just says uh, you're able to locate and download the picture of your face off Schoology. Uh, open the picture with Photoshop. We're using Photoshop 2018, the CC version. And we size the image to 5 by 7.5 by 300. Let's do that first. So I went to Schoology, Schoology, Schoology. And then I'll go back to that link. And then we'll pick a photo that we can use for an example. Um, so here they are showing up. Pick one that, this one, eyes closed, this one. And so you pick your face, of course. And when you click your face, push the download button. And it's going to go to your downloads folder. So it's going to go to your downloads folder. There it goes. It's called DSCN39 something. Downloads folder. So on Photoshop, it says open and resize. File open. Open from the downloads folder. And it's called D. There it is. Click on it. Open. That's one part. Part two says resize. So you have to go to image. Image size. And I want to go five inches wide, 7.5 tall by 300. Um, then say OK. Right. Uh, to zoom in and zoom out, if you use your magnifying glass and click and drag, zooms in, zooms out. Drag down, zoom in, drag up, zoom out. Got it. What's next? Uh, next step says, did that, did that. It says, I have a zone on my image in which I use the blur tool. The blur tool. So I always hear like the blur, the sharpen, the smudge, the dodge, the burn. These are all tools you're going to use. I'll just do one to save time and then talk about the other ones a little more uh, openly. So somewhere over here are those tools. Yeah, dig a little bit. I hover over one. This is called the blur tool. So if I click on the blur tool, I have options. I have a pretty small brush, only 13 pixels. Um, it's hard to even see it on the screen. And I'm using a normal mode. Um, how strong is it? It's half power. So I want to zoom in. Just spot on my face in which I want to blur it says. So I'm going to zoom in. Oops. Oh. Okay, there we go. Got it. So the blur tool. Here's my brush. See how, once you zoom in, the brush gets bigger. Um, I'm going to go full power. And don't click and drag and go crazy. So I do small control brush strokes. So I'm looking at this word, be ready. I'm going to click and drag over it. See, so it kind of blurs a little bit. I'm going to click the mouse, hold the mouse, and drag. Blur. Click and drag, click and drag. If I don't like that, I can go up to edit and go step backwards. It brings you back one step. Edit, step back. Edit, step back. And edit. I am back as far as I can go. So I can go step backwards. Zoom out, zoom out. Um, hold on, I might have an image. I might have went back. Yep, too far. Too far back. So 5 by 7.5 by 300. All right. So I'm going to zoom in again the smallest part of my screen. Way over here. Zoom in, zoom in. Okay, there we go. Blur tool. So maybe try what does darken do and try that. So again, a sample the, the options. What does it do? Uh, look there. See that white's getting darker? So darken darkens things. So don't just do the first click, drag, go, move on. Um, instead, kind of sample it and back up if you have to. The idea of this program is to learn what these things does. What does the blur tool, what can the blur tool do? All right. Same goes for the click and hold. Click and hold. The sharpen tool, the smudge tool. Um, down here, click and hold. 
dodge, the burn, the sponge. So try those out. Um, see what they do, all right? Don't just click and move on. Really kind of change the settings. Like instance here, here's the, uh, this is the, hold on, burn tool. Um, again, I'm going half power, going mid-tones, click and drag. What happened? Not much. Click and drag. Click and drag. So sometimes the settings aren't that sharp. Let's go a little bit heavier. Try it again. Click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. Look in the background, see the black's getting blacker. Over here, the blue gets bluer. So again, it's taking some mid-tones, which isn't white, apparently. Um, what do highlights do? Click, drag, there it goes. So highlights takes the lights, mid-tones, and darks. So just kind of tinker on some of those, learn all those. Don't just click and go. Try different brushes, different brush sizes, different brush types. Maybe more of a texture brush, maybe more of a pattern brush. Um, so try all those out and learn what those things do. Okay, what's next? Um, okay, so I'll work through all those that blur the sharpen the dodge a burn. Clone stamp. What's the clone stamp one do? Let's find out. Um, the clone stamp one is somewhere buried. Here it is, clone stamp tool. It says it paints with pixels from another part of the image. So I'm going to paint with pixels another part of the image. I can go learn how or let's try it. Um, to do this, I need to first select my other area of the image. If I keep my mouse over the word the Thunderway and I hold um, lock. Alt click. Got it. So I use my clone stamp tool. I'm going to go over to my image, hold the Alt button down, hold Alt. See how my cursor goes from a circle to a plus sign? This means I'm selecting this part of my screen. So I hold the Alt button down. I'm going to click. I grab that part of the screen. Mouse over here. See my cursor is now what I clicked on, that thunder way. I click and drag. It's taking the plus sign and painting it to my paintbrush, so click and drag. I can paint what my cursor is on somewhere over here. All right, um, so maybe you wanted to go and say, hey, I want to have one more eyeball. I can go Alt, pick it, move up, and watch, and add another eyeball on the forehead. Phone stamp tool, okay? If you want to grab a new part of my, my screen, I can go Alt, and grab, I can hide that, Alt, grab, hide, Alt, grab, and hide. So I pick a new zone, paint with it. Pick a new zone, paint with it. That's the clone stamp tool. And the next one is the spot heel brush. This is the one I talked about in class about, say you have a little uh, a scar or a pimple or a mole, you want it removed, spot heel brush does that. Okay, um, so I'll pick on the screen over here, and let's say this little uh, padlock was a pimple or a mole that you wanted off of your off of your face. So you go to the spot heal tool. And it says it removes marks or blemishes. Okay, you can learn how or try it. So I kind of click and drag. It kind of samples what's around me and makes it match. So I can kind of hide things that way. You um, can hide things here. So it's, here's, it's kind of taking the surrounding parts of my screen and barring it. I can change, um, have it match, proximity match, create texture, content aware. Um, maybe do a little more of a multiple. What does that do? Let's find out. So here's it's kind of sampling areas next to me and trying to make a match. So it does, you can kind of hide things um, that little gap. Let's go up here to normal. Get that gap to disappear if you can. What does proximity match? There it goes. So it's taking and making the things blend together. So there we go. It's a proximity match. I'm going normal. Now watch. Click drag, 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 drag. Gone. All right. Um, so that kind of works there. Say you've said, hey, you know what? I want this to be gone. Click, drag, 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 drag. Almost gone. Drag some more. Oops. There we go. Okay, so kind of tinker on that one. Learn what it does. Don't just get it done. Move on. 
learn what each of those items does. Um, then it says to design element in the background image to add something to make it appear as if it was always in the picture. Okay, I gotta zoom out. Um, so I'm gonna go to Google and find an image. So I'm gonna go to Google images. I'm just gonna find maybe a picture of a chicken. Um, maybe a cartoon chicken. There we go. So I'm gonna pick this chicken. I'm gonna right click it and copy image. Come back here. I'm gonna go to edit and I'm going to edit and I'm going to paste. There it is. Okay. So make this chicken appear as if it's always in the picture. Uh, from your SpongeBob program, you learn how to use this white spot to be gone. I'm on that layer. I'm gonna to go to the magic eraser and pull this white these white zones off. Okay. And use my arrow tool. As long as I'm showing the controls, I can make my chicken smaller. I can park it back on the floor back here. Right? And if I want it to kind of be hidden, kind of like half behind her, half in front of her, um, I can do that as long as I'm careful with my editing. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. All right. So pan down. Um, right now, I'm a, I can't see where her sleeve is because the chicken's blocking it. If I go to the chicken and I make it a little bit more transparent, I can now see through. If I go to my eraser, not magic eraser. I'm just going to erase the chicken that would be blocking her sleeves. I'm going to follow the sleeves contour and pull this part here away and turn chicken back to full power again and then zoom out, zoom out. We'll take zoom out. Whoa, sorry, arrow tool, zoom out. There we got it. So we're getting closer now. So now it's back behind her, but it's still too vivid. So using my blur, my dodge, my burn, my smudge, my sharpen, some of those tools to make this chicken blend in. That's that one. And the final piece is to label everything. Um, label all 11 items, 11 items in the picture. Um, and to show like if Sagan were coming in, could he see all 11 things? So that one, I'm going to find the tool here for it. It's, we used it last year. It worked pretty good. Hold on. Not that one. Not that one. Nope. Nope. Spot heel. Nope. I'll find it. There. The count tool. And if I say, hey, up here, this is the spot where I did the um, clone stamp. I click on it. This is item one. Whoops, what's item one? If I went in order, don't I? Undo that. Undo. So I go through my, my list of things and say, I'm going to first put a number one on my photo. Two is five by seven. Three is blur tool. So I go through the whole photo and say, I want to have this be number. Can I change the number or not? There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. So number it. That marks two. Um, it's one way. Questions? Uh, good luck.